Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how we can configure the VLAN. Okay, so what we can give the title of this video like how to configure VLAN in Cisco switch. So how we will do, first of all I will take the switch. I am using the layer 2 switch. Same procedure you will use for layer 2 or layer 3 switch. Okay, so I will take the CLI of the switch. This is booting so we can wait for some time. Now the switch is ready. So now in this one what we are going to learn how we can configure the VLAN. So let me create some scenario. I will take some PC here. Let me take two PC or some PC here and then we are going to create the different VLAN. So here I am taking two PC. We can say here I will take like let me take the different color here. I will take this color. I can say this is one VLAN and let me take the other color here. I will take this color for this PC. We can say this belongs to different VLAN and then we will take this color and we can say this belongs to different VLAN. Okay. So just I am giving the different color so easily you can track uh, like uh, this PC belongs to which VLAN. So we can give the name example yellow color we are putting the VLAN 10 green color we are putting VLAN 20 like that we can define anyhow. So let me take the cable. I will connect the cable from here. This way I am connecting the cable to the machine. Okay. Belongs to some VLANs. So now we are going to learn the configuration. Just I am creating some scenario. Later we can do the configuration. So I will keep here. If you see I will type here VLAN 10. Okay. This is a VLAN 10 and we can say name is IT so this VLAN VLAN 10 is a IT VLAN and we can say this is a VLAN 20 and we can say this is a uh, which VLAN like sales okay VLAN 20 is a sales VLAN here I can write here VLAN 30 and we can say VLAN 30 is a we can give any department like HR department so we have three VLAN in this lab we are using the three VLAN in real scenario you will have maybe 40 VLAN 50 VLAN depending upon your organization okay different organization is having different VLAN maybe 40 VLAN if you are working in the ISP maybe you have 4000 VLAN so no need to worry concept is same how we are going to create same procedure we are going to use if you want to create 4000 VLAN or 4 VLAN so in this lab we are using the how many VLAN we are using VLAN 10 that is IT VLAN 20 for sales, VLAN 30 for HR. So in this lab, we are going to learn how we can create the VLAN and how we are going to assign the port in that VLAN. So two things we need to do here. We need to do two things. First of all, we need to create the VLAN and we need to put the port. If you see, this is a port F0 by 1, <coughs> F0 by 1 and this is a F0 by 2. So this two interface we need to put in the VLAN 10. So let me go here. Here, I will create. First of all, I will change the name of the switch. I will go, go here. I will write here switch name is switch one. Okay, this is a switch one. I can say this is a switch one. I created the name as a switch one. Then here I will create the VLAN. If you want to create the VLAN, just write VLAN and give the number. Example, I want to create the VLAN 10. So now VLAN 10 is created. If you want to give the name, you can give the name as IT. Okay, so now name is IT. I will do the same thing for VLAN 20 because we have VLAN 20 also. And name I will give the sales. Okay, now I need to create another VLAN that is a VLAN 30. I will create the VLAN 30 then I will give the name as a HR. Whatever I wrote here, if you see this one, whatever I wrote here, I am doing the same thing. After that what I will do, I need to put the interface in that particular VLAN. So first of all you can write do show VLAN brief. So now if you see we created the three VLAN. Okay, this is a three VLAN we created, but you can see by default all the interface of the VLAN in the VLAN 1. By default all the interface are in the VLAN 1. Okay, so now I need to move some interface in the VLAN 10, some interface in the VLAN 20, some interface in the VLAN 30. So if you see here this is a fast Ethernet 0 by 1, fast Ethernet 0 by 2 these two interface we need to put in which VLAN in the VLAN 10 so what I will do I will write interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 dash 2 okay and then I will write switch port mode axis 
then switch port mode switch port axis which vlan vlan 10 with these two command we will make this port we will move this port in that particular vlan first i use this command switch port mode axis so with this one we will make this is a axis port not a trunk port and after that we are saying uh, this port should go for vlan 10 so now this two port is in the vlan 10 if you want to check you can write do show vlan brief with this command you can check so when you write do show vlan brief why i am writing do here because i am inside the global configuration mode if i am not in the global configuration mode i can write directly show vlan brief but now i am inside the global configuration mode so i will write do show vlan brief okay when i wrote here if you see these two interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 fast ethernet 0 by 2 is in which vlan it is in the vlan 10 now i need to look for this vlan 20 if you see here fast ethernet 0 by 6 okay and here is fast ethernet 0 by 5 and here if you see fast ethernet 0 by 7 so 5 6 7 this three interface in the vlan 20 so what i will do i will go here i will write interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 5 dash 7 okay so i selected three interface 0 by 5 0 by 6 0 by 7 okay i selected this interface i need to move this interface in which vlan vlan 20 so i will write here switch port okay mode axis then we write switch port axis vlan which vlan we are using vlan 20 okay if you want to check you can write do show vlan brief now you can see this three interface move in the vlan 20 how i move by using this command okay now we need to look for this vlan 30 you can see f0 by 3 f0 by 4 okay f0 by 3 f0 by 4 so what i will do here i will go for the interface range f0 by 3 dash 4 and we will write here same thing switch port mode axis and then switch port axis vlan which vlan we are using vlan 30 okay so this way we will move now if you want to check first of all i will save the configuration now i will write do show vlan brief now you can check vlan 30 is hr and we have two interface fast ethernet 0 by 3 fast ethernet 0 by 7 okay this way we will configure the vlan this is a procedure step by step we will configure the vlan by using this method now you need to remember different vlan cannot communicate if you want to make the communication between different vlan it will not work first of all we need to assign the ip so i will put the label here i will write 192.168.0 10.1 because we are doing for the vlan 10 so we will use the 10.1 here okay you can use any ip i am using this way you can use any way no issue okay and now i don't have the gateway so i will leave the gateway as empty here also i will put what i can say 10.2 sorry 10.2 and i will paste this ip inside this machine okay and then here we can say here i will say 192.168.20.1 and here i will go to this machine i will put here and i will cross close here will be 20.2 let me make two sorry and i will copy this i will paste this here let me go here and paste this here and then let me put the label here 20.3 okay and i will put here i am using 20 dot something for the vlan 20 okay for vlan 20 we are using 20 dot 1 20 dot 2 20 dot 3 for vlan 30 i will use 192 dot 168 dot 30 dot 1 i am putting the label this is just label i will go here machine i will put this ip here okay then same thing i will do here also i will go here 30.2 i will copy this i will go to this computer i will go here i will paste here and that's all now if you want to ping first of all this is a different subnet so it will not work and if you use the same subnet also it will not work because now we have the different vlan so the ip we use different subnet this is one thing another thing is we divide this switch into virtually so what we can say we create the vlan to divide the single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain how we can define 
we can define vlan is used to create the single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain so this is our lab finish if you want to ping you can ping only same vlan thing will work different vlan will not work if i ping here like 192.168.20.1 it will not work first of all they are having the different subnet it will not work even if they are in the same vlan after that we have different subnet and also now we have different vlan so it will not work but now what we can do we can do the inter vlan to make the communication between this subnet so in our next class we are going to learn how we can do the inter vlan okay so now just remember this is a simple method like uh, we can say vlan configuration step by step okay we can say this is a procedure we use to configure the vlan step by step okay so i hope it is clear in case if you struck you can join our telegram channel or whatsapp us we are starting the new new ccna batch if you want to join whatsapp us and get the information thank you